Welcome. So what we're going to do now is learn how to simplify our complex expression. So let me kind of go back to, uh, let's do a simpler example. What if I had 2x times 3x? Well, what we're doing in this example is we multiply the 2 times the 3 to give us 6, and then we multiply the x times x to give us x squared. So if I give you an, if I give you an example that looked like this, 8x times 4x times negative 9x, we do the same thing. We'd multiply 8 times 4 times negative 9, and then we multiply x times x times x. That's the same thing when we're dealing with our complex numbers. Um, the only difference is we have some different units for our imaginary unit. i, i squared, i cubed, and i to the fourth are going to represent. We have some ways to actually evaluate those because our i represents our imaginary unit, the square root of negative 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this as 8 times 4 times negative 9. And then i times i times i, which is i cubed. All right. Now, so far, we understood that the imaginary unit i equals the square root of negative 1. And then if we squared both sides, we know that i is going to equal negative 1. Now, if I multiply i on both sides one more time, since this is an equation, I have to multiply both sides, I'll have i cubed. And that's going to equal a negative i. So now when we look at this, I can say, all right, well, I can rewrite then i cubed is the same thing as negative i. Then I need to do 8 times 4 times negative 9. Well, 8 times 4 is going to be 32. 32 times negative 9 is going to be a negative 288 times negative i. Well, a negative i times negative 288 is going to be a positive 288i. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify your complex expression by multiplication. Thanks. Hello.